Hey Butterflies, it's your girl Pam and I am here today. We're going to talk about whether I should use my debit card or a envelope for my personal spending and for my eating out. I don't do well with either one. <laughs> So I don't know which one I'm going to continue to use. But one of the things that I did remember, I want to share with you guys today. Remember, one of the things I realized, sorry. <laughs> so what I realized was I wasn't keeping account of the cash or the debit card very well. I would keep the receipts, they wouldn't make it to every dollar. So what I thought I was going to do, or what I think I'm gonna do to change in April, I'm going to still do the cash out, but I'm going to actually log what I use it for in every dollar and see if that works. I don't know if it's gonna work, y'all. Honestly, I don't know. Um, will do really, really well at the beginning of the month, but toward the end, I know that I'm going into my budget, which means less money going to my debt. And that's not the name of the game. So I've got to figure this out somehow to stay on budget. Um, I've got 50 for both. I think that that should be, it's for me and for Janae. So I don't know if maybe I need to up that just a little bit because it's for me and Janae to go out, but my personal money, um, Janae only gets money if she does chores. So, um, you know, I can, I have a buffer in there that if she has it, then in my budget. So if she does do chores, then she can get it. But if not, then, you know, she won't get it. Um, so the only other thing that I know that I was kind of proud of myself this week was everything I did cash flow for the baby shower. Um, Dre's baby shower is going to be the 14th of April. It's about three weeks from today. And um, I think the only thing I've got left, I did a lot of DIYs, but I did order some things from like Oriental Trading, which is not as high as like, you know, Party City. I did warehouse party supplies. So um, to kind of cut down on the cost, um, it's just myself, Bree's doing the cake and the things dealing with the cake. We've bought some little stuff for Dre. I'm trying my best not to get too, too excited and go crazy, but, um, he's the first boy that I've completely been in his life from the beginning. My older kids, of course, um, those are my wedding gifts. They've had kids, but they've either been out of town or not been as close to me, but the, he's coming directly to my house. So, um, I, I'm, I'm just a tad bit excited. Just, just this much. <laughs> so I'm trying to keep it under wrap so I don't go too, too crazy. But, um, my kids will say that I already have, I have like everything organized, like all the games together in one box, all the decorations in one box. So I'll, you know, when the day comes, all we have to do is open that, that particular box and we just, you know, set it out. So yes, a little OCD, but <laughs> I'm organized if I'm nothing else. <laughs> so I'm really excited about this. Um, the only other thing I think I have to get is just what me, food. And I'm not going to get that until it's a little bit closer. Um, I'm just doing some really nice appetizers, nothing big, some meatballs, some, I want to do some veggie cups. Have y'all seen them? They're so cute. They've got the ranch at the bottom and then you stick, it's a, like a plastic cup and then you uh, stick the celery and the carrots. And then I think I might do some cheese and um, tomatoes on a toothpick that says it's a boy. <laughs> I'm just so excited. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> it's the little things in life that make me happy. I've been suffering with my knee all week. So I've been off of work for the last three days trying to regroup. Um, it spazzes out every, um, when I twist it the wrong way or walk a certain way. So I'm trying to recoup from that. But other than that, you know, I'm just trying to, 
you know, make life good. So if you guys have any suggestions with this cash system or even with the debit card, I prefer the debit card because I prefer to swipe, but I know that I swipe a little too much. So right now I'm going to be honest, I'm going from the cash and then toward the end of the month, I'm going to swipe in because <laughs> there's nothing else there. Um, also, tell me if you think um, in the comments, if maybe $50 is not enough for, you know, just kind of eating out for me and Janae. Maybe it's not enough. Maybe I need to relook at that. So um, if you haven't subscribed and you're not one of my butterflies, please consider to do so. Uh, to my other, other, my other, other, <laughs> to my other butterflies, I love you so much. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video. Maybe it'll help somebody else. And until next time, oh, guys, please, please, please. We're almost to 100, I think, with Ditching the Debt. So um, it, it's so wonderful. I haven't been on there because I wasn't feeling that good. Um, but, um, you know, Ditching the Debt on Facebook, these these people are so oh my gosh they've held me accountable they'll kick me in my butt when I need it and I love it and they'll celebrate me when I do good so I just absolutely love it also if you got any financial wins make sure you leave them in the comments I want to do shout outs again I'll collect those and then do um, a laundry list of <laughs> shout outs for anything that you've accomplished so I'm really really happy for everybody um, and if you need any help Ditching the debt is where you need to be. Um, so anyway, we'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> Love you, butterflies. I don't like that. <laughs> Why do people do that? I don't like that. Okay. <laughs>